Good day, my scholars. Welcome to my school channel. My name is Alexandra. Right here, we'll be solving jump past question for the subject literature in English 2018. Don't go anywhere, class. We'll be right back. school channel right here we'll be tackling question 36 to 54 now let's begin with question 36 a literary device in which part of a sentence are grammatically the same or are similar in construction is known as dash option a simile option b aside option c parallelism option d irony the answer to this question is parallelism parallelism is a literary device in which phrases in a sentence are similar in structure or grammatically similar in structure okay so an example of parallelism is my kind of woman must know how to cook must know how to sing must know how to wash must know how to play okay so we can see that from this example must know how to is the same okay we have a structure of my kind of woman as a subject must know how to as the verb and do some other things which are the objects okay so this is the same structure repeating itself over and over again so option c therefore is the correct answer to this question question 37 peter's privy partner paid the bills is an example of dash option a alliteration option b rhyme option c satire option d digression the answer to this question is alliteration alliteration is the repetition of initial consonant sounds now what do we mean by initial initial means beginning so we are looking at the consonant sound at the beginning of a word okay so from this example we see that peter privy partner paid we, need, we can see the beginning of the word carries the sound p. so these are consonant sound and have been repeated so option a is the correct answer to this question however let's look at the option rhyme rhyme is a repetition of sounds but then it's not um, specific it could be consonant it could be vowel sounds but at the end of a line of um, poetry okay so it's usually placed at the end you look at rhyme at the end of each line of um, poetry so option a is the correct answer to this question question 38 what does the playwright do option a write a poem option b write a book option c write a play option d direct a drama the answer to this question is option c a playwright writes a play okay sometimes playwrights are referred to as dramatists okay they are both the same playwright dramatists are people who write a play okay so when we talk about writing a poem that's poets okay poets are is the name given to one who writes a poem and writing a book it's ambiguous a book a book could be a play it could be a prose it could be anything so usually we refer to that as an author direct a drama a director direct a drama or a theater um, director direct a drama so the answer to this question is option c write a play question 39 which of this is the meaning of cast option a a list of all characters in a drama option b what the character is saying option c the person who writes the drama option d a list of protagonists in a drama the answer to the question is option a so cast is a list of all the characters not one character all the characters in a drama text so usually you have your cast after a movie at the end of a movie you have the list of all the characters this is cast okay and usually in drama text you have it at the beginning of of the text that before you start reading the story itself you have it at the beginning of the drama text so the answer to this question is option a a list of all the characters in a drama question 40 the writer of a poem is called dash option a author option b poet option c writer option d narrator the answer to this question is poet okay a poet um, writes a poem okay an author writes a novel or a book a writer the meaning is ambiguous it can it's applicable to a poet to a dramatist to an author all of these people 
all of those people write, okay? But then specifically in this context, we're talking about poems and the word or the appropriate word to use for a writer, a person who writes a poem is poet. Okay, when we talk about narrator, narrator is that person or that character that tells the story um, in his own perspectives. Okay, he recounts or relays the story in his own perspectives. So option B is the correct answer to this question. Do not forget to take practice questions with our simulated jam CBT pass questions. All you need to do is click on the link in the description below. It takes you to my school website there. You can download my school mobile app for your Android phones or my school software for your computers and laptops. So go ahead and download and start practicing this question. Now moving on to question 41. This element shows how sections are separated into parts with numbers and titles dash option a paragraph option b theme option c chapters option d characters the answer to this question is chapters okay so let's look at the question and segment the elements so we have um, sections are separated into parts that comes with numbers and titles so you have um, segmented parts or sections that come with numbers and titles Okay, I'm going to give you an example or we'll use an example of one of the books we are reading, um, Richard Wright's um, Native Son. Now, it has three chapters, okay, with titles. So, we have chapter one, titled Fear, and chapter two, titled Flight, and the third chapter, titled Fate. Now, if you look at the chapters, they are numbered, okay, and they contain titles, and they are segmented into parts. So, this course, um, the title as the main subject or the the theme okay so we see that chapter best um, contain all of these elements as opposed to paragraph when you talk about paragraph paragraph is segmented it can be numbered but then it doesn't come with number okay so that's the difference theme okay you can number your themes in a text but it doesn't necessarily come with numbers so what well, we have chapters it comes with numbers and they have title they might not be written on top not all um, prose texts have their title written on top but then you can conclude or draw a conclusion from each of the chapters so option c therefore is the correct answer to this question i believe you're enjoying this segment do not forget to hit the like button click on the subscribe button and tap on the bell notification to get informed as soon as we release the next videos question 42 these elements are sections of text within a chapter. They are separated and contain dialogue. Dash. Option A, syncopation. Option B, free verse. Option C, paragraphs. Option D, euphony. The answer to this question is paragraphs. Okay. Let's start with syncopation. Syncopation is a musical term used to describe um, different reading played together to create or make a single musical piece. Okay, we talk about free verse, we're talking about a type of poem that is free from the regular reading pattern or meter pattern. Okay, when we talk about euphony, euphony is, is a quality that is used to describe something that is pleasing to the ear. Okay, so the answer to this question is paragraph because in the final paragraph, we have all of these elements, sections of text within a character. So we can have paragraphs within a, car, um, a chapter, rather. They are separated and contain dialogue okay so dialogue when we talk about dialogue we're talking about conversation so they are separated and we know how to identify paragraphs we have we have this regular spacing to identify paragraphs so the answer to this question is option c question 43 a photo is a dash option a a novel option b work of fiction option c biography option d novelette the answer to this question is option b work of fiction do not forget that a folktale is a traditional story passed down from one generation to another generation, mainly by word of mouth or by oral um, process by the by the mouth. Okay, so um, we also know that folktale is not real; it's considered as false. Okay, because these stories are not factual; there are no evidence to support the um, actual existence of the people or the places mentioned in the story okay but when we talk about fiction we know that fiction is a story invented by someone it's not true it's not false that's why option b is the correct answer to this question now let's talk about biography when we talk about biography is, an, is a story about someone written by someone else okay the novel novelettes 
uh, the major difference between the two is the word count or the length okay so in a prose work we have four categories okay so i'm going to arrange them from the least to the highest um, word count so we have short story very little word counts as very um, little word counts then we have um, novelette then we have novella then novel i'll come again short story novelette novella and then novel so we have um, novelette taking the place of number two short story number one novelette number two novella number three and novel number four so that's basically the major difference between novel and um, novelette so option b is the correct answer to this question question 44 in drama the antagonist is dash option a the director of the drama option b the evil witch option c the character opposing the lead character option d the ash guy the answer to this question or what i refer as the best answer to this question is option c the character opposing the lead character okay usually this is the this is the best definition for um, an antagonist okay it could be called the ash guy it could be, he or she could be called the evil witch or wizard because usually they portray um very bad character or usually have very bad character but the best answer is um the character opposing the lead character so antagonists are usually the oppressors they are usually um the one an, an obstacle standing against the character or the protagonist and their goals okay so option c is the correct answer to this question question 45 that refers to time and place of a drama option a place option b scene option c setting option d act now the answer to this question is setting so setting is referred to the place and the time of a literary work okay so option a place has been repeated so it's definitely not the answer when we talk about scene we look at a particular location or a single location or we think about a place where an event occur or a single place okay so but then when we talk about act now looking at um is syn synonymous to chapter in prose work we have acts in drama okay so we have acts and we have we could have several scenes in act and act okay so option c is the correct answer judging from my explanation question 46 a sub chapter in a piece of drama is a dash option a act option b setting option c verse option d sin the answer to this question is sin okay so sin is something that is synonymous to a sub chapter we have chapter as in, in prose and it's the same with act in drama but then in some texts example william shakespeare text you have act one scene one act one scene two act one scene three so those scenes are considered as sub chapters in drama okay so when we talk about verse verse is applicable in songs and setting is the work or the, the place and time of a literary work like that. so option d is the correct answer to this question question 47 what structure is poetry written in option a sentences and paragraphs option b sentences and stanzas option c lines and paragraphs option d lines and stanzas the answer to this question is option d so poetry the structure of a poetry is in, in written in lines and stanzas so i'm sure you're very familiar of line one line two line three and that's how we number it to the end of the poem okay so it's it's written in lines and stanza however sentences and paragraph is peculiar to prose work okay sentences and stanza is also peculiar to poetry but then it is not referred to as sentences it is referred to as lines so the appropriate or the best answer to this question is option d lines and stanza question 48 tell me not sweet i am unkind illustrate dash option a inversion option b paradox option c humor option d mood the answer to this question is inversion now what is inversion inversion is a change or the reversal of the correct syntactical order of subject verb and object okay in summary inversion is the wrong sentence structure okay now let's go back to the board to have a better understanding of what this is now let's take a look at this exact this is the verb we classify this under the verb element 
and this as the subject, and this as a complement. Okay, so now when you look at the sentence, it's it has a wrong structure. Okay, traditionally, uh, when we look at sentence structure, we should have the subject first, and the verb, and then object or whatever comes after it. So a lot of theories came in and modified this, and we started having adverb first, but then subject first and verb okay so the verb usually comes after the subject so this is a misplacement or, or an error okay grammatically or um in syntax wise okay so now what does this mean it means um do not sweet okay sweet is the subject it should be sweet sweet okay a name of a person preferably the name of a person do not tell me do not tell me i am unkind so you have the subject you have the verb you have the object and then you have complement of the object so i am unkind is complementing the object okay so i think i this is um this is the verb instead and this is the object okay so this is how it's it, it should be okay sweets do not tell me i am unkind okay so judging from my explanation you can see that okay this is a wrong sentence structure and option a therefore is the correct answer to this question question 49 define rhyme option a comparing two things using like or as option b the repetition of a letter option c the repetition of an ending sound option d the repetition of vowel sounds now, the answer to this question is option C, the repetition of end and sound. So, it could be any sound, but the repetition of that same sound at the end of, it could be the word or a line in poetry, usually a line in poetry. Okay, so when we talk about option A, we can see that this is a definition of simile. Now, repetition of letters, it's, it's not um, enough to define um, a particular concept in, concept in literature. Then when you talk about the repetition of vowel sounds, this is assonance. Okay, so option C is the correct answer to this question. Do you have several questions you would like to ask? You can ask your questions by using the link in the description below. Click on this link, it takes you to my school website. There you can ask as many questions as possible and solutions will be provided to you within a short period of time. Now moving on to question 50. Which element of drama tells the actor what to do? Option A, dialogue. Option B, stage directions. Option C, cast. Option D, scenes. The answer to this question is stage director. Okay, a stage director tells you what to do in a play presentation. Okay, so we can see that this is the only option that is applicable to this question. Although it talks about drama. Drama is the written text. Play is the action or the presentation. Okay, but then option B is the best answer to this question. Do you have better steps, explanation or solutions to any of those questions? If yes, Please feel free to use the comment section below, indicate the question and the solutions you would like to share. Question 51. Dash is a subdivision of a poem. Option A, sentence. Option B, lines. Option C, stanza. Option D, rhyme. The answer to this question is option B, lines. Okay, lines should be considered as the subdivision of a poem. Why stanza should be the division of a poem. So option B is the correct answer to this question. Question 52. An actor speaking one's thoughts aloud by oneself, regardless of any era in a play, is known as dash. Option A, metaphor. Option B, fable. Option C, comedy. Option D, soliloquy. The answer to this question is soliloquy. Soliloquy means um, thinking out loud or speaking your thoughts aloud, regardless of um, the audience. Okay, so. Option D is the correct answer to this question. However, metaphor is a direct comparison. Fable is a story that teaches moral lesson. Comedy is um, a story that it's, that's intended to invoke laughter. So option D is the correct answer to this question. Question 53, what is the narrator of a poem called? Option A, author. Option B, speaker. Option C, narrator. Option D, voice. Okay, the answer to this question is speaker. Now, in a poem, there are two persons that should be um, considered as um, uh, visible in or present in the poem. We have the writer of the poem and the speaker. Okay, so the writer of the poem is called the poet. Okay, is the owner of the poem. 
why the speaker is the voice in the poem okay the speaker is also called the poet persona okay so that is is also called the poet persona when we talk about the voice is it's a description of the speaker narrator is peculiar to a drama and author to a prose so in this context we're talking about um, poem and the narrator of a poem so the answer to this question is option b speaker question 54 a chapter in a piece of drama is a option a act option b scene option c setting option d dialogue the answer to this question is act okay act is regarded as a chapter more like a chapter in a prose um in a drama text or a piece of drama okay we have act scene is the subdivision of um chapters or the acts in case of um, drama text when you look of setting talk of settings we're looking at the place and the time of the work dialogue is conversation so the answer to this question is option a act we've come to the end of the segment and i believe you enjoyed every bit of it so do not forget to hit the like button click on the subscribe button and tap on the bell notification to get informed as soon as we release the next videos